Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Ode to Treasure. This is Steven, and I'm doing episode 31 right now. It's another classic men's fragrance, and I reviewed or I unpacked one just like this recently, a few episodes ago, and I'm going to post a, uh, I'll post a link up here to my Azaro Porom, a vintage Azaro Porom unpacking video. If you like Azaro Porom, you're gonna be happy with this one. So I did the video for this Azaro Porom. I got this recently, and I love this thing because I mean, I can't, there's no batch code. I can't even tell what year this is from. But this is a, look at that, two and a half ounces, 75 ml. It's 90% alcohol with that little degrees symbol. So this is an old classic. I'm guessing this is late 80s, maybe early 90s, and it's almost full. So the you can see this, the other video where I talk about this, that one. Then I have this one I showed in the other video. This one is, um, uh-oh, the cap's in there. Uh, this one's also pretty cool, but I feel like this one is not as old as this one. This one is a little bit different. This one might be from the early to mid-90s is my guess. But what I'm about to open might be older than both of these, and that's what I'm hoping. That's what I think from just from what I saw on the, uh, the description, the, the sale, the listing. So let's open this up. This is it. I'm gonna open this up and let's see what classic Azaro awesomeness comes out of this. Comes out of this envelope. Padded envelope. Let's check it out. What treasure am I unpacking here? All right, so it's got the box. Parfums Loris Azaro, S.A. Paris. Ingredients, alcohol and fragrance. It's a good sign when the ingredients list just has two things on it, alcohol, fragrance. The older they get, the fewer um, ingredients are shown. Here's a sticker, the Japanese a product sticker, 30 ml. Also, another sign that you know it's old is this ml, this like script L. So this is an old sticker. Let's see what this is. Pull it out of this pack here. Seller described this as being brand new, but the box does not look like it's brand new. All right, Azaro Porom Eau de Toilette. Natural spray. One ounce. It's a 30 ml. There's the E, which is weird to see that on the outside of the box. This is estimated. 90% volume, so it's got a, a percent sign here. It doesn't have that... Um, the dot, 90%. There's no percentage on this. 90%, usually they're lower than that. So that's a lot of alcohol, huh? Content. Let's look at the box, what else? Let's see what this says. It's in French. Parfums Loris Azaro. 27 Rue de made in France. Here are the product numbers. Now check this out. It says Laura Cesaro Paris and here it says Parfums Laura Cesaro. So this is a little bit different. Let's see what the bottle looks like. So it's a little bit messed up here. This is not really brand new but let's see how much is left in the bottle. I think it's close to full. Of course, you can tell how much something has been folded when you look at the creases. See how old it is. Okay, look at that. That looks clean, like it's really hasn't been a, you know, it's been kept in the box its whole life. Okay. 
There's the sticker. There's no sticker on these at all, right? Yeah, that's weird. So it's only on the box. The bottle didn't have the sticker. But this one does. How interesting. What's on the bottom here? They're all similar. Laura Cesaro Paris, one fluid ounce, 80 or 30 ml. You see that? Now, I assume there's no batch code. These older bottles just don't have batch codes on them. Some of them do. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent had batch codes on them. I guess just some of the brands, uh, Polo did, but some of the brands just don't. And Azaro, I guess, is one of those that didn't have batch codes on them. Oh, look at this. So the print is like in perfect shape. Look at that. The print is just perfect on the bottle. Azaro Pour Homme. Oh, there is a batch code. We have a batch code, ladies and gentlemen. So look at this. Eau de Toilette, one ounce. There's that 90 with the that degrees little circle symbol. 30 ml Parfums Loris Azaro Paris. So it's different. This bottle says Parfums Loris Azaro Paris. This one says Loris Azaro. Eventually, this the newer ones don't have Azaro, Loris Azaro anymore. So this has got to be older than all of these, but it's so clean. Like the only, it's just getting dirty from my fingers on it right now. My fingerprints are sticking to this thing. But here's the batch code etched in there. I feel like, like that's so weird. Like this doesn't have it, but this one does. Maybe I'm wrong. But I bet you if I look this up right now, nothing's going to come up. It says 331 zero seven seven let's look that up okay so both of the databases I looked at had nothing to show for this so that makes me feel like it's so old it's not even in the database 331077 if you can look this up and if you can you can see the the batch code is right there 331077 if you can tell me some information about this if I'm right if this is from the 80s, if this is among, you know, one of the first ones, that would be awesome. Just the clue here, Parfums Loris Azaro Paris. That's one clue. The next clue about the age of this, there's no batch code. I mean, there's no uh, barcode anywhere. There's no uh, green dot, yin-yang thing on this. So this is from the 80s, and this has been stored. It's been barely used. You can see how full it is. This is beautiful. This is a treasure. A Azaro Porom from the 80s. Let's take this off. Look at that. Very similar. This shape is very similar the way it comes up like that. This is a um, this is a splash bottle, so I'm not gonna open this one up and spill it everywhere. This one, let's open this one up and take the cap out and get the cap on it. The cap sticks inside the... Okay. So, that's a little bit different, you can see. And it's got a white nozzle here, and look at that. The black nozzle, yeah, that's got to be 80s. Look at this thing. You can see the crimping is different. Yeah, this is a this has just been stored perfectly for like 40 years, 35 years of this thing. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. All right, what do you think? Leave me a comment down below what you think about this. I hear a lot of guys talking about how they'd love to get their hands on a classic uh Azaro Pour Homme and should I give myself one spray? I mean, this thing probably has never been sprayed before more than once. Let me give it spray number two. Try off my hand. It took two pushes to prime it. Actually, I'll leave the top off. You can see it there. That smells glorious. That smells beautiful. That smells like it's just brand new. Oh, that's not good. There's a wet spot right there. What's going on? Well, I put the cap on, so maybe that's why. 
Oh, that smells great. That smells awesome. Love that smell. All right, so that's it for this one. A bona fide Azaro Porom treasure. Yeah, it's just a 30 ml bottle. I'm probably not even going to use it because as nice as it is, I'd rather just spray this one. I'll keep these two, these older ones, intact, and if I want to use it, I'll just use this one. I also have a modern one called Azaro Pour Home Low, which is a lighter version of this and has a tiny resemblance to Reeve Gauche from Yves Saint Laurent. And I like that one. I spray that one. It's not that strong. It, it's gone after about three or four hours, which is fine because then I spray something else. Oh, this smells nice. Yeah, this is great. If you like this masculine barbershop type stuff, find a vintage bottle of Azara Poor Home. If you can, you will not regret it because I'm enjoying it right now. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like my content. Subscribe, leave me a comment, say hi. Tell me what you're looking for if you want to put something on my radar so I can find some of these classic fragrances that I don't know about. And stick around. This is my hobby collecting and finding these uh, rare discontinued gems, these treasures. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.